Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and for Digital Book Maestro, and today I'm going to make an ebook. Well, I've started off, as I always do, with dictating my book onto Dragon Dictate. So here it is, the thing that I've dictated in already, and you can see that I've been using Markdown to put it in there with the hashtags there to signify the headers. So that's a header three there, and this one down here is a header two. Okay, so that's that part of it done. Well, then what I do is I go into the next application I like to use, which is Moo. And in this one here, I paste it in. So I've pasted it in on this left-hand side there. And over on the right-hand side, I can see exactly what it's going to look like when it's converted into HTML. And it does it straight away. So, for instance, at the top here, if I change this one here from a header 2 to a header 1, and the same thing with this one down here, Apple Care for iPad, if I change that to a header 3, so you can see how that works. So that's the first part of the job done. Now today what we're going to do is we're going to use an application called Sigil to put this into an ebook. So what I need to do is I need to do Option Command and C to copy that into the clipboard and it copies it in there as HTML. So now I'm going to go into Sigil. Okay, so here we are in Sigil. This is going to be our ebook. It's quite a simple application, but I think it's quite a good little application because it gives you a lot of control over what's going to go on in your book. So we're going to start off by putting our text into this uh, HTML or XHTML file to start with. This is the one that came with when it opened up in the new book. And if I just do a uh, command V, that's going to put that in there, but I've done that wrong because that is the WYSIWYG side of it. And I need to put it into the XHTML side of it. So let's just command Z out of that. And if I double click on the bit at the top there, this is what I actually need to work with. So I'm going to select this bit here, which is the section inside the body. And I'm going to do Command V and paste it in there. So I've got that pasted in. I can double click on this now and you can see there that the HTML is working in our book. And I can now actually sort of turn that into a, an ebook straight away. But we want to do a few other things first. For instance, we want to go to this one here and we want to put in our title. And the author is going to be me. And you can add other bits of metadata in there as well. So let's add a basic. For instance, we want to put in the date in there. So let's put in the uh, date creation. Click OK on that there. And it puts in a date for us there. We can go to this one here, add basic. And maybe we want to put in the name of the publisher. You can choose which language you want to work with. Obviously, I want to use English. Great Britain. And uh, the publisher was a gold into that one there. So there's the metadata for the file done. Let's click on OK for that now. Now also it's going to be rather good if we can have a cover page for this here. Now putting a cover page is a little bit of a messing about because you have to first of all get a picture in there. And then also you have to have a cover uh, HTML file. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add a blank HTML file. I've done a right click on that there. So click on rename and I'm going to call that cover. Okay, so that's the first part of that. Now what we need to do is we need to bring some images in there. So click on that button there, the plus button, and now bring some pictures in there. So let's see, what can we have as a picture for the front page? Let's put Commander Z in there. He's a handsome chap, isn't he? So let's click on open. And that will be in our images look. So there you go, there's our images now. Now there's a couple of things we need to do with this. We need to go to this here and add semantics and tell it that it's going to be a cover image. And we need to do the same with this one here, add semantics, and that's going to be that cover. And we need to put the cover so it's at the beginning as well. So just move it there. And then in the cover there, this, this one here, we need to add the image. So we're going to click on this one over here, choose our image. We've only got one image to choose from at the moment, and we're going to click on OK. So there he is in there, and I'm just going to click on this one here, and I'm going to center him. So that's the cover done, and that's the uh, HTML done there. And uh, what we can do now is we can uh, generate a table of contents. So generate a table of contents, and we can choose what we want in there. And at the moment, it can be the header twos and threes, so we've got include in there. If there's something in there we don't want to have in the table of contents, just click on that uh, there. So let's click on OK. And we've got our table of contents and we've got our cover. So let's click on this here and that saves our file. That was a good start, wasn't it? So now what we need to do is we need to go into the iPad. And 
I've got this set up so that this is being saved into a Dropbox folder. So here we are looking at the iPad now and let's have a look and see what we've got in there for books. Now at the moment I've uh, just got a books in there I've been working on already. I've got this new one in there. So what I need to do is I need to go to Dropbox and we want to go into the EPUB docs folder. Command Z EPUB. There it is. Look. You have to let it download so watch this little blue bar go across there first of all. And it says you can't view the file. We uh, expected that anyway in Dropbox. And I'm going to click on that at the top there and click, tell it to open up in iBooks. So here we are in iBooks and it opens up ready to go. Look, how about that then? Let's just go back to the library look. So you see there it is, our new book. It's in the library with Commander Z on the front cover and it looks peculiarly handsome. We'll just tap on there, open it all up, go to our table of contents. And all our table of contents are working quite nicely there. So we can tap on that there and go to the first page and we can start going through our ebook. And doesn't that look lovely? So there you go. That's the quick way to make a, an ebook. Now, because I don't want to make these videos too long, we'll leave that there for a basic ebook using Sigil. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at how to add images to pages and how to make the text flow around them. And basically do a bit more tweaking and fiddling with our ebook as we're getting it published. So this is Dave Allen for Digital Book Maestro and for Mac 20 Questions. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos. Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.